like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Alright, everybody, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Michael Thomas. He's a wide receiver for the Saints. He's number 13 on the top 100 NFL's players of 2019 list. That's absolutely amazing. In the last video, we saw Alvin Kamara, his teammate. Uh, I was a bit confused because he's listed as a running back, but it seems as if he plays just like a wide receiver. Um, even with some routes from, like, right out to the to the right or left. So, uh, look, I was a bit confused about that one, but look, Michael Thomas, wide receiver, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's not going to be playing running back as well, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to understand. But anyways, I'm going to roll the intro and see you back here shortly. The quicker you're here, the faster you go, that's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Alright, Michael Thomas. I did, uh, I did actually forget that these Saints players have Drew Brees, the legend, throwing to them or handing off the ball to them. So that's got to be saying something. Coach is good with Mike. Oh, 81 on the list. Mike T came in after being drafted in the second round three years ago, and his Twitter handle was Can't Guard Mike. And, you know, as a rookie, he came in like, hey, I'm going to be the number one receiver. Look at his, his bicep! Often. His bicep looks like a smaller version of Phil Heath's. And Phil Heath's Mr. Olympia. Look at that split. He must be lean as... Well, I'm not going to say it, but lean as... Ah, oh, I'll say. Lean as fuck. Thousand yards. Fourteen hundred yards. Hang on. So, 2016. Remain set that tone early and often. Thousand yards. Twelve hundred yards. Fourteen hundred yards. Wow. Eleven, twelve, and then fourteen hundred yards. You just look at him like, is he really going to sustain this? And he has. Are you open? Yeah. Well, right, they'll be getting used to each other now. Violently. Oh. Can you get any closer? Let's have a look at this. Bam! Nah. Ah. When he first got into the league, I had trouble figuring out exactly what he was doing that's causing all these people so much trouble. I'm like, is he covered? Like, what is it? What is it? But as I started watching some of his film, I'm like, man, this dude, he doesn't play around. He don't waste time. That's his thing. He's very efficient. Plays real strong. I don't know what weights he's lifting. I don't know if it's that or if he just knows how to play within his own frame real well. But you know, it'd mean? be like you throughout the route. He just got Devontae Maddox twisted towards the sideline, and Michael Thomas ran across field. That's a rare thing. I'm not sure everybody can get it done that way. In 2018, Michael Thomas. That was that was fantastic. That little rundown by uh, Devontae Adams. 
Uh, I've actually noticed Devontae Adams a lot during this list because he was in my fantasy team last year and I had no idea who he was. Wide receiver for the, for the, the, the Packers. You know, he might get 20 yards, might get 30 yards. You know, he's never, never a big scorer, but he's definitely been on this list giving his opinion a lot. I can't remember where he actually came on the list. In fact, let's check that out. Devontae Adams, 2019, top 100. He came in at 35. You guys are going to have to forgive me for not remembering that because that was about three weeks ago now. Great hands, I mean, he's like 90% catch rate right now, which is unreal. I think the next is like 70 something. Um, I like to think mine is, is through the roof, but his is, his is definitely going crazy right now with this mix between him and Drew. They got a good connection that's going to have been a man in the hall eventually. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. If you don't get a thousand yards this year, mate, you'd better put that jacket back. All right, guys. <clears throat> Michael Thomas, number 13 on the list. Uh, you know, he looks, look, if I'm going to look at him, I think he's probably about six foot one. And I'd say he's probably about 200 and, 212 pounds. 213 pounds. We're going to go 6'1, 213. We're going to check that right now. Mike Thomas. No, not that one. Here we go. Michael Thomas. 1993. Okay, what did I say? 6'1, 213. He's 6'3, 212. Not bad. 47th pick, second round of the 2016 draft. He went to Ohio State, which I like. Played 11 games. No. He's been at the Saints the whole time. He. Had. He only had three receptions in his whole first year of college football. He, he, he missed a season. Why did he miss a season? 2013. So he went in there, played 2012, only had three receptions the whole entire year, although he played 11 games. He redshirted the next year and then came back and absolutely killed it in his, in his final two years. Huh. He's 26 now. He went into the draft at 20... Three. It's funny how, like, everyone's on their own journey, aren't they? Everyone's on their own individual journey. Trying to extend their college career, trying to make sure that they have a chance to get in that draft, you know, to go to that combine. It's like, there's got to be guys that are playing top level college football that have no interest in continuing their career to the NFL. Let me know in the comment section below if there's, if there's anyone that you know of that, that was quite content with college football and that's it. Let me know. Anyways, in the next one, JJ Watt. Oh, mate. I'm looking forward to this. Look at his arm. That's just absolutely ridiculous. He's a truck. He's literally like a human version of a truck. And we're going to find out all about that in the next video. So if you've liked this one, guys, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. We've got 12 more players to go. Ah, oh, can't wait. I'll see you in the next one, guys.